As our mayor said, my name is Nate King. I'm the chief of police in Tahlequah, for those of you who don't know me. I don't know if solutions would be an accurate phrase for this, but I did want to talk to you a little bit about what the police department has planned moving forward in dealing with our transient population. Um, we have assigned one of our school resource officers who's off during the summer, basically doesn't really have an assignment to be a homeless liaison officer. Um, some of his general duties, basically in a nutshell, the simplistic term is he's going to be a taxi cab. Our people in Tahlequah who need help, who want help, who just don't have the means to get there or don't know the resources available, he's going to drive to two places, to Cherokee Nation, to Career Services, or to Feed My Sheep, or to the Muskogee VA to help them connect with the services they need, or to Zoe to, to, to get a hot meal. Um, he's also going to do some enforcement for those people who don't want help, who are refusing to help and are being a, a nuisance at times, breaking the law. He's going to be enforcing the law. The one thing about this, and it's easy to do, we've done it at the police department even, is to lump all, trans, all of our transient population into the same group. And it's just, not, it's just not fair. Just like it's not fair because you have one bad dealing with a police officer that all cops are back. Or one, one bad teacher in your, in your school years and so all teachers are back. And so what we've got to learn to do is treat each individual on a case-by-case -case basis. And we've got to stop placing the responsibility of all our homeless on one institution. Like the Zoe Institute, for instance. Sorry to call you guys out or mention you by name, but too many of us, and we were guilty of it for a while at the police department, want to put all homeless problems on Zoe. And that's, that's not their mission. That's not their goal. Their goal is to feed the hungry. Their primary goal is to feed the hungry. They offer some other services, but their primary goal is to feed people who need food. Feed people who don't have food. So we can't put all that responsibility on them. We can't put all the responsibility on the Cherokee Nation Career Services or Creoaks or Feed My Sheep or whoever it is. This is a community issue that continues to grow. We are seeing more serious crimes on a daily and weekly basis out of people who are transient, for lack of a better word. We had an instance this weekend in Southridge. Mr. Wright's here and has video of it, offered video to us of it, of an individual roaming the neighborhood all, all hours of the morning. Um, we arrested three people from Walmart today for shoplifting who all admittedly are homeless. They don't have a home that they live in. They're transient people in Tahlequah. So what this officer is going to do is help identify these people. We have created a new label within our reporting system so we can flag people as transient. And we can take that flag off when they do find housing. That not only will help our officer who's assigned strictly to transient population, but it'll help our other officers help get people the resources, help know that we're dealing with this pe person over and over and over, and it will also help us report more accurate data to the city council.